Thank you for choosing Canvas Titans. This is a Chrome extension we built for Canva.com that will allow you to easily scale any of your print-on-demand designs, e-commerce designs, Kindle Direct Publishing covers, and even marketing materials such as postcards where you need to rotate through thousands of customers and input their name and sometimes their address, and then save the files. That takes a lot of time to manually do that kind of work. So with Canvas Titans Chrome extension, we are making it possible for you to fully automate that process using canva.com. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to do is install the Canvas Titans Chrome extension. It's free to install and set up and use to cycle through variables. But if you want to automate the downloading process, you'll need to upgrade to a pro subscription and more, te more details are below this video. Uh, with that being said, once you had Canvas Titans added to Chrome, which you can see up here, uh, you'll want to go ahead and export a CSV file. That will be the file that you input your data into and I'll explain that further. But first, see right here I have a pretty generic design I built over here on Canvas or over here on Canva. And this one's made for merch by Amazon, but it can be used on multiple print-on-demand platforms. So this would be a t-shirt design, it's a birthday design. And this variable right here, 40, I wanna swap out with multiple variables so I don't have to go manually do that. Come over here and then download it. So I have one of those spreadsheets already exported, as you can see here. And how our plugin works is we give you six columns to use six different variables if you wish. Now you don't have to use all these variables. Like, it, like for this example, I'm only using variable one bar one as you can see here and it's all caps that's important and I'm just doing the 18 year old 20 21 all the way up to 90 every five years so I have the data there and over here in column G it says file name that is what our plugin will name your design file as which is really important when you start to uh, upload to these other websites now with that being said I already have my data ready so I'm gonna go back over to canva.com and plug this into my spreadsheet and adjust the uh, layer that I need adjusted all right, so I'm over here on Canva and I have my design set up. So the next thing I do is I want to cycle through my CSV file of all the data and then download these files. So what I need to do is change this to var1 as shown in the spreadsheet because if you come back to the spreadsheet one more time, you'll see var1 column here has my variables that I wanna play with. So once that's done, I'm gonna just cycle through this so you can see how that works. Come over and select the uh, CSV spreadsheet and then see here I can actually download and I can change it from PDF print, PDF standard, PNG, and JPEG files. Uh, but for this design would actually be PNG, but I'm just gonna cycle for now so you can see it in action. So as you can see here, the variables are cycling out so you can make sure everything looks good before you decide to download. So now that that's done, I'm gonna move over to a KDP notebook cover. This is a six by nine, 110 page template as you can see here, I have multiple um, layers here. And then I also have on the spine of the book, which if I show you, I'm gonna remove some transparency here. You see that I have a variable, variable six. Let me zoom into that so you can see it. Variable six right here in the middle of the spine so that I can actually enter data into the spine of this book too, which is great for getting certain keywords in your title. Now that you can see that in action, I'm gonna come back and put this spec at 75% and get rid of the transparency so you can see this work as well. This is using multiple variables. So here would be var1, var2, var3, var4, and var5 here. And when you input these vars, make sure they're always all caps, otherwise it won't connect with the spreadsheet correctly. Now the next step is to show you the data here. So you can see here I modified the data. So var1 to, through four is 1970 to 1980. And I have a classic version and a vintage version, which is var5, as you saw on my canvas template. And then var6 here is actually going to be on the spine of the book, and I have 50th birthday journal all the way down to 40th, as you can see here. And then it repeats because it changes out the uh, vintage word. So let's go ahead and show you that in action. Again, I'm going to come grab my spreadsheet. And then I'm just going to cycle variables one more time, so we're good to go. As you can see, all the variables on the entire spreadsheet or on the entire canvas are changing. And it's absolutely amazing because you can scale out as many designs as you want with data from a CSV file. So it's really powerful 
and it'll save you a ton of time. And I did notice something on the vintage one here. It was actually too um, too large, so I'm going to adjust that. Whoop. Messing up here. There we go. Let me just check this canvas real quick. That's why it's great to cycle through things to make sure it's not hitting. So see how the G here is hitting? You don't want that. So move it up. And it looks like we are good right there. So now that this is ready, what I can do next is download. So I'm going to move over to the birthday one. And I'm actually going to set this to download so you can see it work. Already has VAR1 set, so I'm good to go. And again, in order for this plugin to download for you, you'll need to upgrade to a pro subscription, which you can find more information below. Uh, so let's grab the birthday data, change this to download, change it to a PNG file, and right here you can choose transparent background, which on Canva, you're required to have a pro account in order to uh, enable the transparent background. So that being said, I'm gonna say birthday t-shirt designs. This way it'll create the sub uh, download folder and then download to it. So I'm gonna let that run through now. So as you can see in the background, it's saving the file and then it'll rotate to the next row inside the CSV spreadsheet and then adjust that variable and download it until the entire spreadsheet is done. So I'll let you watch this for a bit. And as you can see down here, it named it from the spreadsheet, from the file name column. It's naming it exactly what I want the file to be named, which is important. So again, this is happening all on its own. I'm not touching anything. We're letting the Chrome extension take the work and rotate through all the variables and save each file. Okay, and when it's done, you'll see that the uh, layer here changes back to var1. And if I click show all on the downloads and open it in the folder, if you look at the downloads, you'll see it named the folder exactly what I wanted. And just like that, I have 17 designs in here, as you can see, all ready to go to be uploaded to print on demand. So those are the t-shirt designs. Now I'm gonna go back um, to the KDP template and I'm gonna run this one through as well. So once everything is exactly what I want, let me change that back to var5. Then I can simply come over here. I'm gonna select that other spreadsheet of data and change it to download, but this time it's gonna be PDF print for KDP. And I'm gonna say KDP covers, birthday covers. And now I'm ready to go. I simply click submit. And just like that, now it's downloading the PDF file from the entire spreadsheet of data on full automation. So I'll go ahead and let you watch this. And again, you can see down here, 1970 Classic, that's exactly what I put as the file name for it to download as, so we're good to go. All right, and that's done. So now if I go to my downloads folder, and you can see here it named the uh, folder what I want it to be named. And just like that, I have 22 covers for KDP ready to go. I can open it up so you can see it. 1970, and it has the graphic or the text right here on the spine of the book as well. If you come down here to the vintage ones, you can see that I have those as well. Changed out the vintage with the classic, and everything is done. 
So I have these print on demand t-shirt designs ready to go. I could upload to multiple print on demand platforms. And I also have these KDP uh, covers for books ready to go. And these are very simple and very generic designs, but you can get extremely creative with this plugin and build all kinds of crazy designs. And we do have image variable support coming at some point where you can actually rotate out images and the background for the book cover or for your t-shirts and things like that. So this is just the early version of the plugin. Uh, you guys will definitely want to take advantage of this. Again, there's more information below, but with Canvas Titans, you'll be able to use this for much more than just print on demand or Kindle Direct Publishing or even e-commerce. You can use it to make scalable social media posts, YouTube thumbnails, Instagram posts, or even marketing material such as postcards or mailers with customer names and their addresses and things like that. And let's say you even had a customer list of 10,000 people that you're sending postcards to. You can come in here and do that and set it on automation and then walk away and just let it download everything for you. Rotate through all the data and save it exactly as what you want it to be saved as. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned a lot with it. And I'm excited to see each of you take advantage of Canvas Titans. There's more information below. I'll see you guys soon.